BC nurses say their health is increasingly at risk because of the fumes being caused by drug users who are openly smoking drugs inside hospitals in the wake of decriminalization. For more on that, let's bring in Rob Shaw at the BC Legislature. Rob, this comes amid a leaked memo on drug use policies that landed in the BC Legislature. What can you tell us about that? Well, Stacey, this memo here from officials in Northern Health is causing a stir at the legislature because it links decriminalization to rising open drug use inside hospitals and instructs nurses to both allow it and not intervene, which critics say is outrageous. Nurses say this is happening across the province, including here on Vancouver Island. Some key sections which ban nurses from seizing drugs and going through belongings to find drugs and doing anything about weapons they might find either. Patients can use substances while well in hospital in their rooms. Staff do not call RCMP to go through personal items for a patient and do not call security to do the same. Police are only called for gunshot wounds and stabbings and related concerns. And also, staff do not remove personal items from the patient's room, even if there is a knife or something considered as a weapon under four inches long. The health minister today saying the memo was poorly worded and no drug use or weapons are allowed in hospitals, but nurses say that is not the reality. They are having to walk through toxic plumes of fentanyl-laced smoke from people using drugs. It's so bad. One island nurse came back from maternity leave and was told not to breastfeed her child for fear might be contaminated from drugs she'd been exposed to at work. Nurses today saying enough is enough. I can definitely tell you that it's happening daily. I have people in tears on a daily basis almost talking to me about their exposure incidences or um, incidents to violence and the impacts that that has had on them, whether it happened today or last week, and the fear of reporting, because when they have reported, nothing has changed. This is yet another blow to decrim, which started last year. It has not reduced a continued record number of overdose deaths. Mayors in cities like Nanaimo and Campbell River say it's led to a spike in open drug use in public places. The government's in court fighting to partially recriminalize drug use outside businesses and beaches and bus stops. The premier today, though, unwilling to concede the link to hospital drug use. That simply because we understand addiction and uh, want to give people these opportunities does not mean uh, that you can use drugs anywhere you want. That's why we introduced a new law uh, to restrict uh, drug use around places that everybody would expect, around the doorways of businesses, around uh, parks, bus stops, and certainly uh, the rules apply in hospitals. You can't smoke in hospitals. Uh, there is a serious addiction epidemic in this province, down the west coast of the United States, uh, and growing in other places like Alberta uh, that we are coming to terms with. Uh, decriminalization did not cause the epidemic. The legislature heard today about how a drug sensor has been installed in the new uh, at the baby ward at Victoria General Hospital due to drug use by patients, family, and the need uh, for staff to don respirators there. It turns out that's only partly true. It's a smoke detector coming to the baby ward. There's 20 of them already in the emergency room area, Stacy, in order to alert staff to drugs being smoked so that the staff don't walk in to those fumes, a sign of the reality in hospitals that nurses are facing right now.